still can't believe we made this thing. Visually, there's several different themes going on with the horn. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the themes, obviously, is the hurricane, Katrina. And so we've got the hurricane spiral here and the arms of the hurricane coming out here. But they really call this horn the Elysian Trumpet, after the um, mythological Elysian fields, the fields of lilies that represent the dead who are beloved and have passed on to heaven. Uh, the more we've learned about New Orleans culture, um, so that we knew how to decorate the horn, the more we've been attracted to the project, and so we've done more and more outrageous things on the horn just because we're into doing it. Like the precious stones inlaid in the bottom valve caps and the Mardi Gras colors, including diamonds and amethyst and citrine. This is another favorite right above that, the, the domino carrying the suitcase walking, so that's Fats Domino walking to New Orleans with a suitcase in my hand, that tune. And the Jelly Roll Morton, the famous New Orleans jazz piano player, I love that with the uh, Tammy soft gears, the jelly roll with a piano keyboard on it. Doing the inlay of the Mississippi River, we probably have, Tammy's probably got 40 or 50 hours just into inlaying the river, carving the individual pieces. This is 30 miles of the Mississippi River as it flows through New Orleans. And the ruby is set right on the corner of the river, right where um, Louis Armstrong Park is. And then just barely skimming the right side of the ruby is Elysian Fields Avenue where the fellow that we made this horn for, Urban Mayfield, his father, they found his body there several days after Katrina. So how fitting that, you know, that they're calling this the Elysian Trumpet when Urban's father was found on Elysian Fields Road. This horn is called a samadhi, and what samadhi means is undistracted mm -hmm. union between subject and object. That means you concentrate on something so intently that you become that object have direct knowledge of it. And that's the goal for us with all of our players and customers is to hopefully give them a horn that works so well for them that it's like the horn's not there and they can just connect completely and totally with their audience. And to that end, my friend Urban Mayfield. This is the first monument built for Hurricane Katrina. You know, I wish the type of, our levees in New Orleans were constructed with the type of discipline and, and somebody being as meticulous and as fastidious about our levees as Dave was about this trumpet mm -hmm. and the people in the shop were here. That's what this is about. A lot of people coming together about an idea.